Welcome back to ITN. So now I hope you guys have all created your free account, right? Um, and as as we discussed in the last session, that free account with that you get only two hundred dollars, right? And you have the validity of twelve months, right? So how are you going to make sure that you don't exhaust two hundred dollars right on the first hour, right? We don't want to do that, right? We have to make sure that our two hundred dollars we are utilizing it in a, I mean in a proper way, okay? So for that we have to make sure that we are creating a budget and uh, we want to have this budget so that we don't overspend on a daily basis so we we are, we are going to look at how we are going to create the budgets and how we are going to remain in the budget um, all the time right okay guys so i'll see you in the session thank you Welcome back to iTunes. So now let's look at how we can set budgets uh, for our uh, subscription. Yeah, as you can see on the, uh, on my home screen, uh, as soon as I log in with my credentials, I will get this sort of portal. Right now on this, I have the option to. Um, I mean, you can uh, you can see that I have uh, option for subscription. Right. Yeah. Um, if you don't see it out here any of the resources uh, and th this is the list of the services that are uh, provided and there are a lot of others which are provided on uh, Azure but uh, yeah some of this list is out here okay great and some of the action items out here okay great in case if you are not able to find any of those things here you can always go and search for it okay great um, now I as you can see, I mean, this is the uh, the ribbon bar where I can see my information. And since I'm based out of India, so my um, subscription is uh, the 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 amount that I've got is actually for uh, thirteen thousand three hundred rupees, Indian rupees. Yeah, but usually it um, it gets. I mean, it's like equivalent to about two hundred dollars, or uh, for some places it might be uh, different. So it actually gets converted uh, almost uh, near to about two hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's configure the subscription. Now, before I go ahead and con configure the subscription, I want to uh, take a moment here uh, uh, to make make um, a point here. Why do we need to set up a subscription? Yeah. Uh, is it required? Well, actually, see, it's it's a free portal, right? Fine. Uh, but later on, uh, we, we are actually simulating a scenario where you have to run, uh, you're running uh, all your production services on Azure portal, right? So for that, what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're not going over budget, right? And then uh, to avoid all this, we have to set up a subscription, okay? So we are, we are actually simulating a scenario and I'll actually walk you through the things that might be different. Uh, on uh, on uh, the portal um, for the production ones and the free ones right okay so I'll click on subscription or I can click out here or I can type it out so uh, let me uh, show you this way subscription and I see the first one I click on that yep great I'll give it a moment and I see out here my subscription ID is here right and I'm active and this is my free trial and then um, what I do is I click on here All right um, if if I mean let me go back yeah let me go back yeah so if uh, it is currently I'm running on a free trial isn't it I mean that uh, the first account the initial um, one month which I will get about two hundred dollars right that's why it is running a free account right and um, in case after after a month when when this is going to be uh, paid it will convert to pay as you go this will actually change to pay as you go right and then it will also um, as of now i've not used much on this account so there is no charge uh, actually incurred on on me on this account 
so it's showing as zero uh, uh, rupees but in case if I if I would start using it then I can actually come and see how much uh, the cost is incurred in all right in, in total okay so this is not going to be like your daily cost it is like your total cost for that month all right fine I'll click on um, this icon um, free trial and then um, this is the place uh, where actually I got uh, the sub menus out here all right and as you can see I've got a lot of details out here had the which all the things you can actually go ahead and tune it as per your requirement for now since we have to set up our budget let's go ahead and click on budgets and again you can actually search out here by typing uh, budgets right but anyways uh, let's go ahead and click on budgets okay great all right what I'll do is actually I'll try to minimize this portion so I'll click on this icon so that it can hide this part of the window all right now I can see out here uh, uh, that um, I'm, I'm there is no budgets which are set out so remember guys um, I can actually click on um, the add button to create a budget but one important thing that you have to note out there is you, you this icon will only be visible or available uh, after 24 hours of creating an account so if you have created an account now and if you're trying to set up budgets uh, by clicking on add this will be grayed out right very important to note because it you might feel uh, like uh, why it is so different uh, uh, in uh, in the production environment and uh, uh, in uh, the lab environment well that's the reason this will only be enabled after 24 hours of creating an account okay great anyways uh, so let's move ahead I'll click on add and I'll give it a moment here uh, yeah so it's uh, come up okay now here uh, is the place where I can actually configure the scope for the budget right now current with the current settings it is default that means it is the account wide account wide is it isn't it so this the current setting is whatever changes I'm going to make this is going to be for the entire account but in case if I want to make a change to a particular uh, resource group or particular um, department with a tag I can actually select out here and um, uh, and then actually um, enable the budget for that particular department so you do have the fine finer granularity um, for setting up the budgets right but as of now it's a very new account I don't have any resources created on this that's the reason I'm not able to find any resources out here all right but in case if you have resources you can select on that and then click uh, select and then you would actually it that particular portion will get selected here and whatever things you are going to set uh, it will be applicable for that particular resource okay great so I'll close this window out here for now because uh, for now I want to set up a budget uh, for the entire uh, account okay great so I'll move a bit down now what I have to do is I have to give a unique name um, so I can give account budget um, remember guys so when I'm giving any name um, there should not be any space on that yeah so for example if I give a space here uh, it immediately pops a error yeah you can see budget name must only contain alphanumeric uh, underscore or hyphen yeah there should not be any space correct all right uh, so and then um, then I have the option to select uh, the billing period so is it going to be the billing month quarter year monthly quarterly annually so all those things right so for now I'm happy with uh, with this configuration of billing month right now this will this configuration will run for the next two years yeah uh, yeah as you can see um, this is going to run for the next two years right great so now here is the place where I'll set up the amount I mean how much amount I need to set up for my budget okay so I'll set it up as um, um, 
um, in just an example so I'll set it up as 5000 rupees okay um, not sure if how much resources I will be able to run in 5000 rupees it's a very less amount but anyways I mean just for the lab purpose um, that's uh, I mean that's good enough for 5000 rupees now here if you're checking out in the production environment or if you're having in your existing account uh, in Azure uh, for your organization this is the place where you will find out the budget or the cost that is already incurred for the account it will show out here the historical information about the cost okay since uh, this is a me account uh, there is no nothing to display out here yeah? all right uh, so I'll move move a bit down and see what all the things I have that's all for now and then I click on next okay and then um, then I I have to provide my email address uh, give me a moment here yeah so out here I have to set an action item so I've already configured the um, I mean I've created the uh, budget uh, but I have an action item that needs to be created so what happens when when um, you when the resources that are being used on your portal is cost 5000 rupees or is um, I mean is at uh, nearing to 5000 rupees so what sort of what sort of triggers should be imposed or should be um, triggered for that um, threshold yeah let's have a look so out here I, I get an uh, option how much percentage of the budget um, so here you can set out the budget like you can set out like 80 percent and or whatever I mean uh, as per your convenience so so if I set up 80 percent then at this amount the next um, action will be uh, done actually right but uh, as of now there's nothing um, so there is no action group uh, defined so that's fine all those things we are going to look in detail in the coming sessions yeah but for now um, I'm happy with um, like uh, 80 percent yeah I'll keep it as 80 percent so there will be an action triggered as soon as I hit 80% of this budget yeah that is 4,000 rupees okay great now I have to give in my email address uh, 369 pro it at gmail apologies for the typo dot com right so this is the email address so what it does is it is going to trigger an email whenever I hit the budget of 4000 rupees which is the 80 percent of 5000 rupees okay so I click on create and it does the validation and then it will finish yeah so as you can see we have actually created a budget the budget is of 5000 rupees and it will um, trigger the email uh, as soon as I hit uh, to 80 percent of this budget that is 4000 rupees all right Great guys, so in this session we saw that uh, how we create, how can we can create the budget and uh, um, in the next sessions we are going to uh, go more uh, details, uh, we will start with the basics and uh, gradually we are going to go in details on Azure, right? Alright, great guys, so I hope we have covered quite a bit uh, today. So stay tuned by um, by clicking on the subscribe um, icon and uh, get uh, the notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Alright, great. Until next time, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.